Welcome back to Business Made Simple. It is your daily business tip. It is designed to either make you money, save you money, save you frustration, something that advances your career. Today, it's all about answering the question, why aren't people buying? You've got a great product, you've been trying to sell it forever, whatever, and not enough people are buying. And the reason probably is a lack of clarity. You have not clearly explained what's in it for them You've left too much for them to figure out why they would need your product. You gotta clearly explain it. I've got a friend who's been trying to sell a uh, medical clinic for a very long time. It's actually a great clinic. Uh, it's, you know, it breaks even, it's got a great staff, it's all this kind of stuff. Uh, and he's trying to sell it to somebody who uh, could clearly make more money if they actually had this clinic. And there are some reasons for that. One of the things that he didn't do is he, was we talked, you know, and he's been trying to sell it for a long time, and we talked about why it's not going is he didn't clearly spell out what's in it for them. He, he told them all the facts, you know, the nurses, the doctors, the equipment, all that kind of stuff, what's in it for them. And so one of the things I said was, hey, take your P&L, take your, maybe your last year's P&L for the whole year and just highlight everything that they won't have to pay if they buy the clinic. So when they buy the clinic, they're not buying a lot of the overhead drain on the clinic. And he had never actually taken what the money that the, they won't have to spend if they buy the clinic and mark it through. And it turned out to be a, a great deal of money. And he went back to the very people who had rejected the clinic, said, I don't want to buy it. It, it, he, these are people who said no, and he went back, and when he clearly explained, look, here's the money that's in it for you. Now, they could have done the math themselves, but they're not going to. And so he actually did the math for them, and you know what? They said, send us a letter of intent that quickly. All he did was take the same information, but organize it in such a way where they didn't have to think about it, and they could see on a piece of paper, here's what's in it for me and they bought the clinic, or they intend to buy the clinic. I hope that deal goes through. But a, a complete different reaction. The key is spell out clearly what's in it for them. So if you're in business to business and sales, if you're in complicated long-term sales, in every meeting, before those meetings, you wanna go and you wanna say, okay, how am I going to clearly explain in this meeting what is in it for you? What is the upside? Don't think that they have ESP, they cannot read your mind. Don't think that they're gonna go home and do the math, they're not. They're going to remember the one thing that you said when you said, here's what's in it for you, an extra $150,000 a year. Uh, three employees that are trusted that you don't have to deal with, you'll never have to fire them, you know, whatever. You gotta spell out exactly what is in it for them. Today's simple tip, spell out what's in it for your customer. Spell out what's in it for your buyer very, very clearly. The answer to confusion is always no. So we have to be super, super clear about what is in it for them and you'll see that sell go through.